Hello everyone, welcome back. We're here this morning with Piers, we're on the putting green. We're going to do some putting, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. This is something that we've not done yet. More so for you, and I think as we get into the episode today, it's going to be more about giving you good drills that's going to help you improve in your own time. Because okay. technique-wise, you're in a good spot. I mean, you hold plenty of putts. Ten foot and under, you want the best putters for your handicap that I've seen. Great. So today it's more so about giving you drills that's going to allow you to identify what's going wrong, when it's going wrong, and then being able to fix it really quickly in your practice. Yeah. Because right. I do have bad days, so knowing what, what's happening is important. Yeah, got you. Perfect. Let's get into it. Right then, so first drill, this is Tiger Woods' favourite putting drill, it's the gate drill. What we've done, we've set up a couple of tee pegs just wider than Piers has put ahead and it's going to mean that if he was to present a centred strike, he's going to move it straight through the gate. If it was to be a slight toe strike, do you want to show us what that would look like? Yeah, that would be, heel, that'd be a heel start, <laughs> yeah. So we're going to hit the tee peg on the left and if it was to be a slight heel strike, we're going to hit the tee peg on the right. So this is purely focusing on hitting it out the middle. And this is one of the things with you now, if you can repeat this time after time after time, take it onto a golf course, you'll never miss the centre of putter or, or you'll miss the centre of the putter a lot less. Okay. Slightly interesting revelation, one thing that we've just found. Piers had a slight tendency on that last batch of putts to miss it to the right. We found that it's more of an aim thing than a stroke thing. Yeah. That brings us quite nicely onto the next drill that we're going to do, which is a, it's an abbreviated version of this gate drill, but it more focuses on start line than it does strike. So let's have a few more at this. Let's make sure we're consolidating that. Keep striking out the middle. Right then, so as you can see, we've got a second set of tee pegs now. We did notice for the, I mean, until you made a slight aim change there, we were missing putts just to the right. Mm -hmm. We found a way of being able to square your face up. Do you want to show the people how we just managed to do that? So, whereas a lot of people would set the line on the top of this golf ball up parallel. Oh, just straight to hold. <laughs> whereas a lot of people would set that line up going straight to the hole what we've done is we've used it in a perpendicular way so that Piers can now square his face to the line on this ball and that helps him control the start lines he says let's give it a go so the missed tendency before was slightly to the right we're looking to play it through this gate and if we do so we out too much pace it normally goes in one thing that this drill is really good for, if you have a day when you're missing it either consistently left or right, you put the gate drill down and you think, all oh, right, I'm just not controlling my start line. Slightly to the right. Yep. What do we think to that one then? Well, I've learned. I've learned stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't find it easy, but obviously that's the point, isn't it? I need to go over and over and over again. Probably the severity of which I set it up as well didn't help you because the, it was literally a ball's width wide, that. So as soon as you were slightly yeah. off of your start line. You told me what my start line was doing, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And then you'll always get that feedback whenever you repeat that drill yourself. So if you're having days when you're missing putts, like I said earlier, left and right, get it nailed to what side I'm missing miss start yeah. direction on then it's always going to work back this next drill is called the box drill you guys might not be able to see but we set up four tee pegs there so first putt has to enter the box and every putt after that we've got four balls has to go slightly further than the last one remaining in the box so it's a proper pace control drill this one the hardest putt I think is giving it just inside box the first one yeah. yeah yeah and then from there it's just ever so slightly pass 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 until we can get all four in okay. all right
Right, so we actually completed it first go for the front to back one, but we've swapped it. So now we're starting with the first part to be the back of the grid and then we're going short, short, shorter and we're having a bit more difficulty. Lucky. We've done it, finally. That were harder going back to front than front to back, weren't it? Much easier going front, front to back, getting longer. Yeah. Getting shorter. Is but how finely tuned do you feel to the pace of these greens now? Yeah. You've literally put into the centimetre, aren't you? Only the other greens on others. I know, I know. Last drill that we're going to do then is a holing out one. And this is it's something that I use to either help me practice or punish myself after a bad round. You'll be glad to know. <laughs> right, so we've got a slight left to right breaking putt. We've got a two foot putt, three foot, four foot, five foot. Three balls from each tee peg. You have to hole every one. If you miss one, you have to start all the way from the beginning. Okay. So it's a proper pressure element to holing out this one. I like it. The reason why I say I used to torture myself with it was that if I had a bad putting round, I'd make myself do this drill and I could only go home once I completed it. Obviously, if you want to make it easier, you go shorter in length putts. Uh, you can use less tee pegs, less balls. But today we're doing two foot, three foot, four foot, five foot. That proved to be more difficult than we thought, didn't it? On that last run, we got right to the last one and then missed that last putt, didn't we? So next time, you've got to do it. Uh, probably for you, because of how good you are at two footers, you can cut two foot out. Three, so even four, if you just five, want to do three, four, five, yeah, three putts from each, got all each one. Maybe even six. Even six, yeah, yeah if you're feeling fruity one day. Cool, well done. Cheers, mate. All right.